Hello and welcome to another episode of unboxing some bland blah 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 product that is just there to be a placeholder for what it is that we all come here for and that is for a little bit of relaxation so today's placeholder will be a none other than a Rode microphone and which other brand would it be other than a Rode microphone of course it'd be a Rode microphone so today I got a uh, microphone here this is mainly to be used as a, a simple USB plug-in microphone that I could keep on my desk um, just for general purpose use and I thought it would come in handy and I thought this would be a perfect unboxing video so it's a rather large box I was quite surprised by the size of it so this is the Rode NT USB it's kind of like an entry-level uh, podcasting type microphone which is simply just a USB plug-in and play I should have done more research because I don't know if this is a dynamic mic or a condenser mic but anyway um, another reason for me getting this was um, we have a D, &D game and one person uh, connects in through Skype to play the game and the microphones are terrible and so I felt a bit guilty by not bringing my own microphone so um, I bought this for myself but also to take to my friend's house when we play a game of D, &D so that the person on Skype will have a better listening experience Right, it just says studio quality USB microphone. What else would you want? Other than that, it says in a different language, iPad compatible, compatible iPad. Maybe that's English, I don't know. It's got Korean, Chinese, Japanese, multiple languages. Right. Anyway, um, so Rode have, uh, an, are an Australian company. Uh, I believe these are made in Australia. No, no, this is made in China. Um, I think that the, the more expensive microphones are probably made in Australia. So Rode are a company that um, have been in Australia for a long time making very um, uh, reliable, good quality mics. They're not top-end mics. Um, but they're affordable, and for the money that you spend, you get a very good product. Come on. This blade is not that sharp. Alright, we'll forget about that. So, yeah. so anyway, Rode's been around for a while. Um, it's always good to see that the microphone hasn't been opened. But I think where Rode have really got a lot of success is they built a lot of microphones for the digital SLR uh, cameras. And um, they're extremely popular and they're very highly reviewed and they're not expensive. And so Rode have done themselves a really good job of you know, instead of trying to sell expensive microphones, make a little bit of money, uh, sell a whole heap of little cheaper microphones. Um, and so, you know, ooh, their products um, are universally recognized as being a good quality product. Nice piece of um, soft, crunchy, Munchy foam. 
And here we go. We bring out what it is that we come here for. I have to admit, the foam packaging, like that's, it's got the softest, cushiest ride ever. Like the packaging that this thing comes in, impressive. You know, when you open it up, there's no doubt that no matter what happened to it, if it's been kicked around and thrown around, chances are it's gonna be fine. Look at that beautiful piece of foam. Pure artwork. All right, so we look at the microphone. Now we'll look at that later. Let's see what else is in the box. I have to admit, this stand is a little bit crap. But for what it is, it's actually, it's okay. I don't like it. I guess I'm used to having mic stands. That's impressive. That looks like it's a five meter USB cable. So that means it can be used at the maximum USB length and still have enough power to power it. And as usual, we get a little road pencil case. So I love Rode microphones, which I think you could just put my hand on my heart and say, I love Rode microphones. And we get a cute little setup in multiple different languages, which is a testament to just how far and wide these microphones are shipped from an Australian company. Um, so I kind of have a question on like, you know, does it just plug and play? English. All right. Is powered by a USB port, meaning that you can just plug it in and get started right away. It's a plug and play device compatible with both Windows and Mac, as well as iPads via a USB camera connection kit, which I have no idea, available from Apple. So that'll be expensive. Um, it uses a purple LED inside the microphone cage. Okay. Um, that indicates when the microphone has power. If the light does not turn on after plugging in the microphone, the computer device may not provide enough power for the microphone. In this case, we recommend using a USB powered hub. So at least in the very first page, they tell you that Uh, there's a lot of devices out there that don't give enough power through USB. And this has been a recurring problem with computers for years and years and years, but most people don't understand it. But they put it there on the first page. Very smart. Um, you know, it's the first problem, you know. Does the microphone, is the power light on? Is it turned on? Mounting it, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how... Okay, interesting. Um, so there's a microphone plug in here. A no, headphone plug. So you can, I believe the headphone plug monitors the sound in the microphone, nothing from your computer. And there's some volume control knobs, which there's a headphone volume control and a mix monitor control. Used to mix between direct microphone signal and the sound from your software. I guess it's like gain, turn it up, microphone's loud, turn it down, softer. I have to check that out. Hmm. Setting and your input level. Now this is gonna be important. Hang on, I missed the page. Recording vocals, bugger that. Setting input level. The microphone has been set to an ideal internal gain setting without need for physical level adjustments on the microphone body. I don't think the button, the things on the microphone do anything anyway. Um, 
any necessary level adjustments to set ideal recording level can be made within your audio recording property or your system preferences. And then it says, if you want to do that, don't bother us. Look at the software that you're using and bug them. You know, annoy them. Um, da, 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 so they're saying six inches is an optimal distance to talk. I guess that's it. That's it. Just a microphone. I like the pencil case, so I use that for my kids' textures or something. What I kind of find strange though is it's like a string. Activate your free extended warranty. Probably get 10 years out of it. What happens if I pull? Ah, oh, USB port. That's even got a cover for the USB port. It's nice. But the stand, I'm guessing, must be like this. How oddly crap is this? Oh, I can't say much for the for the stand. I was right, it was crap. So I assume it must go like this. And that goes like that. So that part works. This part works. But the problem is, is to get the microphone over the two feet where it needs to be, it's loose. Unless it's got some type of a uh, it's got like a bearing in the side. It has like a bush or something, so you can just keep spinning it around. Uh, I guess we plug it in, listen to what it sounds like. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to attempt to plug this in and do like a multi-track record <clears throat> so you can hear the sound quality between the camera, the bigger road mics and this. I'll be right back. Let me continue this unboxing and comparison. I'm sorry about putting it there, but I've just found one of the disappointing parts of this microphone is the microphone stand's attachment is quite uh, limiting in the angle that you put it in. So if you got it there, it, it, it just doesn't have the range of movement. So if you've got the microphone here, you can either have it upright, have it down, down there, but you can't put it on an angle backwards towards it. And so I can't bring the, it's coming down lower and lower. My microphone stand's not that good. It's still coming down lower. Oh gee. Let me just pause for this technical issue. I shall be right back. All right, sorry for my lack of perfection. Okay, so here we're going to test the microphone. So I have the Rode microphone up here, so I'm gonna talk right up into it. And then I've got two my microphones here. So this is the Rode NT3, something like that. 
shotgun microphones. My usual microphones where I have them running in the stereo. And this is the Rode NT-USB. And I would assume for a basic microphone, it should be quite good. It's not really a basic microphone. It should be actually quite a good microphone. So I'm really interested to test. So now I'm going to go back to the Rode NT-USB, uh, the NTG microphones, which are my main microphones. And these are a very, very nice microphone for the money. Um, you know, you pretty much get a simple, rugged, reliable microphone. Um, I still don't know whether this is a dynamic microphone or not, or whether it's a condenser microphone. That point has eluded me. I forgive me. Um, so I'll just try a little bit of whispering. But then again, I might talk normally. So now I'm going to go back to the Rode NT3 microphone. Just do a little bit of tapping sounds. So of course, I won't get a stereo effect with the other microphone. And then we'll go back to the Rode NT USB. And so that's just a quick comparison between the two microphones. Um, um, yeah, I hope you like it. And uh, generally, the Rode microphones are a pretty solid choice. You generally get a good microphone for the money that's reliable. And I'll tell you something about this microphone, which is really good. You just plug it in, and it works. No hassles. But the only problem is, is every time you plug it in, the computer wants to use it as a speaker, so you have to go in and change your speakers back to your default speaker, which, to be honest, is a pretty big fault for a microphone to have, to try and change the computer's sound output to a microphone. So it ain't perfect. Once you realise the small little bits and pieces that it has, it's going to be a solid microphone. And uh, again, Rode NT USB. Rode NT G3, Rode NT G3, Rode NT USB, NT G3, NT G3.